What's up guys, I'm Josh with Colorado Off-Road Engineering. I recently found a fix for an issue I was having on my truck. It seems to be a common issue on these third gen Tacomas. And that is that the 12 volt power socket below the radio had no power. So I did a bunch of research on forums. Most guys say to check the fuse to see if it's blown. I'll show you guys where that fuse is. In my case, that fuse was not blown. So I tore apart the dash and found that the plug was no longer plugged in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tear apart the dash, how to check that fuse that might be blown in your case, and hopefully help you guys solve the issue that you're seeing. So where the fuse is that you need to check is underneath here. There's a small panel. Here's the fuse panel that we are looking at. And the fuse we're looking for is this 15 amp power outlet number one. To get that fuse out, I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers. Now that I have that fuse out, you can see that fuse is not blown. So I'm gonna put it back and start tearing apart the dash. So to start, you wanna start on this end and just pull out, I'm just, get that side and then pop out this side as well, like that. This piece is pretty easy to get out. Grab a 10 millimeter socket and take out these four bolts. That will allow the radio to pull out. I'm gonna just leave it there for now. We're gonna pull out this climate control panel right here. I'm kind of getting underneath here and pulling back. There's a few tabs that you have to make sure you pulled out. This panel right here that butts up to where the steering wheel is, I'm just gonna reach in there and pull it down. And that will allow this piece to come out completely. So the area we wanna get to is right around here, but back through there. I'll kinda show you guys where we're looking. There's your plug. I'm actually going to unplug these three harnesses that are connected to this climate control panel so I can get a little bit more room. After that climate control panel is removed, I'm actually gonna pull this out and kind of rest it here on my knee. I'm gonna try to film from below. As I reach my hand in there, there's our plug. In. This is extremely difficult. There we go. And it looks like we're in. I'm going to test that that actually worked with my Garmin here. And turn the key, plug this in. And we have a red light. Look at that. Now all that's left is to throw the dash back together. I'm gonna to start with this climate control panel and plug back in all of the harnesses that I unplugged. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna pull back this panel a little bit so I can get this behind that panel. I'm gonna find where all those tabs line up. Then, to get this panel back in, you kinda gotta get a little western with it. Shove it in like that. Oh, that did it, that was beautiful. Now I'm actually gonna keep this wire tucked behind here cause I kinda wanna run it up here and then I'll figure out how to tuck it back behind there. Next we'll grab our four 10 millimeter bolts. And I'm gonna start all of them in their proper spots. Now let's tighten them up a little bit. Now all that's left to do is to place this panel back on. I'm gonna start from the left side, clip that side in. And there you go. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Leave a comment below if you guys ended up finding a different issue. And I'll see you guys next time.